Hello and welcome to Luther Burbank Back to School Parent Night Open House and the first time ever on Zoom. My name is Mr. Downs. I'll be teaching your kids history and science and I'm going to talk about my classes and some overall uh, tech issues in just a second. But first, let's meet your child's team. Ms. Perez? Hi, Mrs. Perez, and I'm your child's English teacher. Hi, I'm Mr. Robertson, and I am your child's math teacher. Fantastic. So you'll hear from more from Ms. Perez and Mr. Robertson in just a couple minutes. But first, let's get to some basics. If you somehow found this video and you have not been on to Schoology, or maybe you're not sure about the distance learning, I'm going to give you the quick tour right now. Let's share our screen. All right, so here we are. One of the first things you want to do is get yourself to the Luther Burbank homepage. Luther Burbank, the pride of Highland Park, has all the information you need. There's links, there's video messages, and if you are just catching up, you can go all the way back to the beginning of the school, first week of school, and things like that. But one of the biggest things you want to get to is this access to distance learning, because this will get you started. Notice students start here, parents start here. Now parents, more than ever, it would, it's really important to, for you to be engaged in your child's learning. There's only so much we can do in the classroom setting, we can walk around, we can make sure kids are getting their work done. But in this Zoom setting, very difficult for us to do that. Once they leave that screen, we can't help. And by you logging in here, you will have access to everything your students have access to, like Schoology. So we're gonna to go to Schoology. Once you're logged in, and we have most of the kids have logged into Schoology. If they have not, you need to go back to that website and hit students start here. So even parents, if you haven't gotten yourself logged in, you need to talk to your child and have them show you the Schoology. Because you can see their work through their website and their access. So in we have courses in Schoology, we have groups in Schoology, and in my class, a lot of the things happen in groups. Groups is very important. So when you click groups, I have invited parents, students, I want everybody in groups, because we are a working community together. And one of the things we, we'll learn about in my class is systems, integrated systems, reciprocal with the environment. So as a community and as a system, you and your child are gonna to work together with us for their learning. So part of that for me is to have the parents in the groups. So you click groups, you go over here to my groups, click that, then you're gonna click join group, and then they will ask for a code. Well, I'm gonna give you the code right now. All you need to do is pause this video, you can go into Schoology, and you can get yourself logged in. Here is the code access code right here. You don't have to worry about the spaces, you don't have to worry about capital, place that code in, and you will now have access to a daily update of everything that happens to my, in my class. You can scroll down all the way back, and always remember to click more. You can come all the way back and say, wow, I'm just coming back from Labor Day and trying to catch up. It would probably be a bit much to watch all these videos, but you can get a quick little overview from day one where it says, welcome to the virtual class of Mr. Downs. So you'll scroll this up, catch up, and get all the way up to date. Oftentimes I'll get an email from a child, I missed Zoom, my internet was down. That's okay, that's why I place all of my lessons right here in groups. They often send me a message, Mr. Downs, what do I do? Go to groups, it's spelled out basically in words, and you can watch a video that I have made in the morning so that every child can succeed even with bad connections. So go to groups, get logged in. It's a great way to leave comments as a parent or a child. It's a great way to track with my class. All right, before I finish up, courses is where you find the actual assignments. Now I'm a thematic-based, project-based teacher. So I'm integrating history and science constantly, but we do one project a week. And the project one week will be found in a history class like this week. So we click history. All of their assignments show up on the right-hand side. This week it's called Ancient Man. You click Ancient Man and I can see the work in progress. If somebody has not opened a slide, I can see what they are doing. So each week, even in the new science program, which is Amplify, will be slideshow based. This is a student created slideshow. 
fantastic way to learn because they are creating and discovering on the, their own. They get to make their own choices. Do I want to study Neanderthals more than archaeologists? They will learn a little bit of about all of it, but they get to pick what they want to dive into. And they write their own essays. They find their own, uh, their own documentation from the internet. They find their own visual resources and they learn about history and science in a discovery type way. So one of the best things you can do, and this is the last thing I'll say, is ask your child at the end of the week, teach me what you are learning. And they can come in and present to you a slideshow on their phone, on their iPad, on your phone, and they can teach you about the fascinating topics that they're learning in science and history. All right, guys, I'm gonna pass it off to Ms. Perez. Ms. Perez, take it away. All right, so this year in English, your child will be using, um, working in a writer's and reader's workshops as they master the Common Core Standards. Uh, as we work through the year, you'll see your child thrive. Each class begins with a mini lesson video, which focuses on a particular skill. And as your child reads and writes their way through each unit, you will see their skills develop and strengthen. Right at this time, I want to show you some important uh, some important information that you can find in Schoology. So let me share my screen. All right, so here we are in one of our courses, and each course is set up the same. You can find um, the Zoom link right here, and if you're trying to locate the assignments, they're always located in the blue file folder and you just look for the date for that week. You click on that link and inside you can see the weekly calendar. Now one thing to note is when you open up the weekly calendar, it looks blank. So it's important to scroll over to this square to open it up and view the calendar. Okay, and here you can see the assignments for the week, for each day of the week. So besides the weekly calendar in here, you can find each of the assignments listed by date, as well as the resources. If for some reason your child has technical difficulties logging into Zoom, they can still complete that day's assignment. In here, you have the lesson with the video lesson as well, mini lesson is included. They would just click on this blue link to get to the video mini lesson and type in the username and password and then the directions are included and the documents are there for them to complete the work. All right, and let's see, um, for grades, when you're looking at your child's grades, we based our grades on a mastery grading system. So this shows growth over time for your child. If you notice your child happens to have an incomplete marked in the grading book, then they can just get that work done and turned in to me and we can change that incomplete into a grade for their their assignment an important way to get connected to our classes is making sure you're connected to class dojo if you haven't yet have your child message me through schoology to get the class code if you need one in Class Dojo, you'll be provided with information on your child's participation and cooperation during Zoom class, as well as any updates for our English class. And now on to Mr. Robertson. Hi, uh, I'm Mr. Robertson. I am your child's math teacher. And just like you and your child, this is also my first year at Luther Burbank. When I was moving in this summer into the classroom, which you can see as my digital background, I noticed that there were these massive display cases in the back, which you can't actually see. Um, so the first activity that I did with your child was to uh, ask them if you could put any five items who represented who you are on the shelf, what would they be? Um, and it was a great way for me to kind of get to know your child, even though we can't meet in person. Uh, I made some slides for tonight, um, so I will share these with you, um, but in the slides I 
provided you with what I put on my shelf. So I'll let you take a look at that later. Um, I wanted to talk to you about the curriculum that we're using. It is very different than the curriculum that we uh, kind of experienced when we were in middle school. Um, we have a fantastic math department, sixth grade through eighth grade here at Luther Burbank. We all use uh, CPM, which is a really, really great curriculum. Um, it has three guiding principles that are very similar to kind of the guiding principles of Luther Burbank. Um, every day, students will engage in really rigorous, interesting uh, problem-based lessons. Uh, and kind of the idea is that we're trying to get our students to do the math work of mathematicians. So instead of us as teachers just being like, here's how you do a problem, we're trying to see what kids' um, strategies, what strategies they will bring to this math uh, so that we can learn as a community. So also each day we're gonna connect as a group of mathematicians. So every day students will be working in groups of four. Uh, we're trying to recreate that by using Zoom breakout rooms where they, um, where I help guide them kind of build the knowledge for the target of whatever we're learning for the day. Um, also, it's a little bit different because um, the expectation is kids thrive over time. So we, instead of doing one concept and then moving on to the next one and never going back to that concept, we're continuously going through concepts and returning to them. So if your child doesn't get it the first time, they'll get the practice over time to, um, to get them there. Uh, I, on this page, I've uh, created links for the main sixth grade math page. Uh, there's also a link to a page on parent support, homework help, and some of the research that guides uh, the curriculum. Also on the slides that I'm going to send to you is a screenshot of what your students see when they come to class. I wanted to show you what that looks like briefly. Um, so when your child logs on to Schoology, they should see this site. The first uh, link is to our Zoom class. The second is a link to Desmos, which is the program we use for our classwork and our homework. We also will have interactive notes on Google Slides that they will have at the beginning of the week for all of their classes. Um, and when they log on, if there's any assignments for the day, that will be there too. For this resource folder, they will have their syllabus and the weekly calendar of what we're doing. Um, and there's also these folders for past work. So once, uh, so for example, today, this is Thursday's activity. Uh, all the other lessons, Desmos activity lessons from the week, after we're done with them, I put them into this folder. So if the kids wanna come back to them, they can do that. So after students uh, click on the Zoom link to join the class, uh, I will always have a warm up for them ready to go on Desmos. So the sooner they can log into Desmos, the better. So they'll click on that and then they'll click on this link. It will take them to another tab. Um, always, always, always have them log in with Google. We've been practicing this, but if they sign in with Google, then that will allow them to come back to the lesson later. Uh, since there's homework on these slides, if they log out, um, they can't do their homework, uh, which will make them really frustrated. They'll have to go back in and do all the slides again. So make sure that they log in with Google. So always there's going to be a warm up in the first couple slides. Um, this was our lesson from Thursday. Here is all of the classwork slides. And the last slide, the last one or two slides will always be their homework. So make sure that they're doing these uh, by the next class. Um, also, I wanted to show you an example of their notes. Um, we will every week be filling in uh, these slides with kind of the objectives for the day, any vocabulary that they need to know, if there's any reflection that they uh, need to be doing for class that day, it will be on this. And we'll give them space to write in notes if they need to. Uh, we'll also provide the homework problems. If they want some more challenging work, we'll give them that. And then we'll also give them a link to their homework help. So that's kind of a brief overview. If you have any questions, I'll also provide my 
contact information in the slides as well. I know this is a strange year, uh, but I still think it's going to be a great year for math, and I'm very excited to work with all of your children. All right, thanks for watching. It does seem like a lot. It seems like a lot for us. There's a lot of clicking, a lot of blue links. It will start to become more second nature for you. Parents, please check your child's work. Every couple of days, just ask them, what's going on in science? Show me your reading lesson. What did you learn in math today? And then get into Schoology. Very important, if you log in as a parent, it takes a little bit of time. You have to go through those steps that I showed you at the beginning of the video. But if you get in there, you will now have access to all your child's work. We can send you messages. You can send us messages. It will really help things out. We'll see you at 6 o'clock Tuesday, live Zoom, to meet us three. We're going to have a 30-minute question and answer time. Thanks for coming. We'll see you on Tuesday at 6. Have a great day.